we were taken ashore there and we only had to walk about or oh, half a mile and we were taken to a, a former French Foreign Legion camp and there was 200 English ex-prisoners of war there or prisoners of war and they'd been there the whole time fed well, looked after well and, and were having a real good time and they were amazed when we told them the stories of how many died and of course they were interested because they had heaps of English friends back and it was a big uh, strongly built huts long huts and t double decker bunks inside and we were put in these and then we used to have to go to work and we worked on the docks uh, where they were unloading things off ships and things like that and while we were waiting to get a transport ship to go to Japan and they had a canteen there and you could buy bananas and fruit every day of the week you could buy toothbrushes, toothpaste and things like that and uh, it was all supplied by the French and uh, one day the uh, the guard house was right at the, the entrance to the prison camp and it was right on the road that was across <coughs> across the road from the docks and they used to get a couple of prisoners every day to go out and sweep the footpath with homemade brooms and I was chosen with about four others and one day and we were out there sweeping the footpath and a couple of nice Dutch girls, uh, French girls came riding past in the book on push bikes and they said hello and, I, and, I, and they used to go like this V for victory and I just put my fingers up V for victory to them and one of the guards saw me and he come out and babbled away in Japanese and holding his fingers up and then I got a cloud across the face this side and another cloud across the face that side and then he says, Speedo, back sweeping. <laughs>